going on you guys Dan here I wanted to do a video real quick I'll give you guys a preview a show preview we have an expo coming up next weekend June 16th and 17th in Pasadena at the Pasadena Convention Center it's a Repticon show I have no idea if this is going to be big if it's going to be small but it doesn't matter because we're gonna be there and I don't half-ass anything when we're going to a show, we bring it, we treat them all the same serious as can be. So we have a really, really good amount of surplus, really wide variety. And uh, it's been a while since we've had a show. It's been a long while since I've done a show with Apple. So um, very excited about that. But before we get to the preview, I had a couple things hatch earlier this week. I hatched some Ganya Soma some red tail green rat snakes. I'm getting ready to take them out of the box. They're fully hatched, ready to rock. So I wanna get them set up so they can have their first shed and then I can start feeding trials. So it's a bit of a sunny day, so I didn't want this box sitting out in the sun, so I had it underneath my chair. So these are, these are the eggs, <laughs> empty of course. And these are the two baby Ganya Soma. Big, robust babies. Nice result here on this one, even though it was only two babies, but they're really not known for laying a lot of eggs. So I'm happy with the results. Um, this was roughly 120 days in the incubator. By the time these guys left the eggs, we're talking about 120, 121, 122 days, and I incubated them at 77 degrees. So, they turned out super nice looks like they're actually starting to go into shed already which is cool and uh, they will not be at the show obviously because they are not ready yet but we'll see how things go I want animals to start feeding and establish first before I do anything with them but very very happy with the results no kinks um, and big robust feisty I really have no doubt in my mind that they're going to be um, good babies as they get established here so anyway that is cool let's get to the preview okay so now let's get into the show preview I mean that's what you guys clicked on the video for and so I've been getting a lot of inquiries by my local customers they want to know if I have baby blue tongue skinks and yes the answer is yes I have a lot of them um, they are very young babies very small youngsters uh, they all have really good body weight we are feeding them like crazy, giving them regular soaks in water for them to hydrate and shed their skin. Basically the same protocol that we always do. And basically when stuff is shedding, you get full, full toes, hands, everything comes off. So that's why we like to promote the, um, the fresh water soaks. It's, um, it's just good for them all around. Makes them move, makes them defecate and uh, it just really works. So we will have these uh, at the show this weekend. We have a lot um, and it should be pretty good for those of you that are looking for skinks. So I also have, now these are Halmaheras. Now I also have some Meraukes. Now I've seen some people advertising some for sale on the internet, on the classifieds and that, and they are using words like superb and exceptional and um, now that, in my opinion, is superb and exceptional. Lots of red. Um, very, very unique, very different. Um, I'm holding these animals back at the moment because I want to see what they look like freshly shed. Um, there is just so much red here that uh, it almost makes me suspect that there's something, something interesting going on and I'd like to see kind of what develops after a shed or two. But um, very, very red individuals, and I think that these are exceptional. So they're young animals, they have some growing to do, some coloring up to do, so it's kind of, uh, kind of exciting stuff. I only have three of these guys. All right, let's move on to some other stuff, give you guys a preview. And remember, I'm going to remind you, I'm not going to show you guys everything. Got to leave some stuff as a surprise for the expo. So let's go take a look. All 
All right, so for those of you that subscribe to the channel or at least follow me and watch my videos, you guys know that I received some Solomon Island animals recently. So obviously I am going to have some at the expo. These happen to be Solomon Island tree boas. They come in a myriad of colors. These are both the same species of snake. They come in lights, darks, reds, pinks, yellows, all kinds of different colors. So whatever's feeding and doing well, I'm bringing it to the expo. I should have a pretty decent amount of them. They make really, really good captives. They're super docile, almost timid animals. And um, they, they just come in a whole assortment of colors. So if you breed these guys, you can get any colors from any pairings whatsoever. And they just make really good captives. Um, like 90% of them are rodent feeders straight away off the bat. So um, they're really cool, cool captives. And for any of you guys that uh, caught it last weekend, I had some babies born here. Those will not be at the expo, of course, because they were just born. But uh, we're going through feeding trials on those. And uh, they will be available here at some point in the future. So Solomon Island tree boas, you guys. And for my monitor customers, come on, man. You guys know what to expect, right? Solomon Islands, I've got baby spinulosis. These are spiny neck monitors. They remind me a lot of a Ruticollis, except they have a lot more color. Uh, super precise hunters. Um, when I put food in there, I mean, they're just, they're, they're just full of energy and incredibly accurate hunters. Um, real, their, their nails are really, really sharp, so they're obviously an adaptation for climbing up in the trees, but superb coloration, perfect little hatchlings, and I got a couple of those for the expo, so I'm excited to bring these out to the show. Um, I'm not expecting any of these to be at this show coming up, but um, you know where you'll be able to find them, at the DM Exotics booth. Doing awesome, super strong, robust babies. Come check them out. All right, and also Solomon Island ground boas. Uh, very obviously a very close relative to the tree boas. These are shorter, heavier, more stout. Um, for the most part, very, very placid, easygoing animals more shy every once in a while you'll run into one that's a little bit rambunctious but uh, again they also come in a lot of different colors and I don't know which ones I will have at the expo um, I'm gonna bring out the ones that are doing really well but some animals have already been sold and are shipping out this week but I will have some at the expo for you guys to check out um, have a lot of little ones too so that's kind of cool not so many of the big guys but lots of little ones all right, same thing, green tree pythons. You guys that come to the shows and see me, you know that I always have some green tree pythons. My numbers are a bit limited at the moment. Uh, I just got some uh, a, no, a new batch last week, so I'm not gonna be bringing out the new arrivals, but uh, I do have just maybe half a dozen of the little guys that have been here for a while that are ready to go. And then I have some bigger ones as well. So if you guys come to the show, make sure you check them out. It's free to look, you guys, and you can take pictures of my stuff, and you can promote your social media accounts with my, with my animals, no problem. Uh, but check them out, they're really pretty. Bright, bright yellow. All right, great feeders too. All right, and I have one pair of Boiga nigriceps. Uh, these guys just arrived, but as long as they um, take their next meal okay, I will bring them to the show. If not, if I feel like they need a little bit of extra time, I will have them at the July show. But um, Boiga are something that I usually have on the table, and so I've got a couple. All right, and what, what would a show be for DM Exotics without scrub pythons, right? So I think I have two pairs of Merauke and one pair of Highlands. Uh, they're all babies. Um, they've been here for a while. They're all feeding really good and doing awesome. So come out and check them out something that you don't normally see at any of the shows across the country uh, but we're bringing them all the time when we do have them we try to always have some unique animals for you guys to check out so just a quick preview like i said um, we are going to have a lot more stuff there will we have insects inverts tarantulas centipedes yes yes to everything we will have all that there 
amphibians, we're going to have some frogs. The giant toads that I showed you guys from Malaysia, we are going to have those. Um, just a lot of stuff, a really good assortment. We're going to Repticon, you guys. We're going to handle it. So anyway, come out and see us next weekend, June 16th and 17th. I will put a link at the end of this video. Um, come on out and say hi. Leave a comment if you're interested in any of this stuff. If you want to reserve any of that stuff to pick up at Repticon, uh, send me a message. We'll arrange it. All right. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Hope you're having a great weekend. And we will see you next weekend. If you can't make the show, we are going to bring the cameras and give you guys a look at what's going on. Thanks for watching. Take care. See ya.